Hello everyone, welcome to the concept of ESLs. The ESLs are, like the label here in front of me, digital shelf labels or electronic shelf labels. That's what ESL stands for. Basically, they are replacements of your existing paper labels on your shelves. And you're probably wondering, what benefits would an electronic shelf label give me? Well, the first one is really obvious. Paper labels need to be replaced. If there is a change in your product database, if a price is lowered, then you need an employee to go to the shelf, take off the paper label, put on a new label. It's a logistical nightmare. But with ESLs, it's a lot easier because these are digital and you can connect them to your product database. And if there are changes to your product's information, Whatever the issue is, if it's the price or if it's the name of the product or the amount of content in each can, if you change it in the database, the ESL server will update automatically. So this is an ESL. Basically what you have is a e-paper display. It is a wireless device. There are no wires, it connects to a base station. That base station gets its commands from the ESL server that we're also going to cover in these tutorials. And it updates the label with the latest information. And there's one neat thing about ESLs, or rather the e-paper inside an ESL. As you know, if you have a computer monitor and you take away the power, the screen goes black, it doesn't work anymore. The beauty about e-paper is that it's actual physical pieces of ink within a display that are uh, placed in a grid order and then can show uh, up to three colors. And there are even developments for even more colors. So keep an eye on our product catalog because we will update it as soon as we have new gizmos for you to try out. And the neat thing about the ESLs, like I said, is if you take away the power, they still work. So here I have a display that I lifted from one of our units. It's a very thin screen. And as you can see, there is nothing connecting to it. There is no power. And yet it is still showing the image that it was showing the moment it lost power. What that means is if these units run out of power, they'll still show the same image. But even more interesting, once you've given them an update and they've changed their label to the latest price in your product database, there is no more power consumption. So these units, while they run on simple batteries, can last for years and years. And as such, it is a very easy, low maintenance solution to replace your existing paper labels. Now, of course, there is quite a lot of information about how to actually manage these labels. And that is what we're going to do in the other tutorials in this series. These, is the, these are the concepts of the basic ESLs. We hope to see you in the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions remaining, please contact Opticon Support. We'll have a link in the description with the latest email address. Thank you for watching.